Alrighty, how's it going there? Um, started looking around a little bit. I uh, got tired of GIMP uh, with this it's multi window crap. Uh, ran across uh, this little guy here. Uh, how to install a GIMP box for GIMP. Um, I'll put a link to uh, to this page here so you can copy uh, the instructions. Basically, all you, uh, I'm in Linux Mint 11 uh, using GIMP 2.6. And really, the only thing you have to do is just these three commands uh, to get it, to get it started, and then change your um, uh, change your launcher to uh, GIMP box instead of GIMP 2.6. Uh, like again, I'll, I'll I'll put a link up uh, to this so you can follow along. But I just want to show you that it does actually work. Um, let me go ahead and bring up the original GIMP here. You can see it stays three windows. It's it's not bad. I'm I'm actually kind of used to this, but I really just don't don't like it. It is a mess. You can see it clutters up your uh, your bar down here um, pretty quickly. So um, this is the original one. I've already run uh, what the article said to do: installed GIMP box, and uh, my GIMP launcher down here is is changed to actually open GIMP box. So let's go ahead and open it up. Spot the difference. It will open uh, those windows at first. Give it a second. Boom. There you go. Uh, GIMP all in one, um, all in one window. So that's nice. Uh, these are adjustable. You don't. You don't. You're not going to want to make them too small. But well, then again, you don't want to make them too big either. Uh, there is a, a bit of a trade-off. Let me get it back where it was. You can see. Your slider bar is going to be pretty small, but I never really use those anyway. I always just edit, edit the values here in the box beside them. But there you go. There's uh, there's GIMP all in one window. You can see it resizes and everything properly. So there you go. Uh, just hammering out some videos this morning. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody who might be looking for it. Uh, the GIMP. They, they tinkered around with a, a single window mode in the older versions. So you could go to Windows and it would have a, a, an option here for single window. Um, I guess it didn't work out well because it's not an option anymore. But Gimpbox takes care of that and uh, works pretty well if you ask me. I, 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 I really like it. Um, you will have to uh, edit a few things also. I haven't done them yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do them right now and let's see how that works. So this is gonna be a learning experience for uh, for both of us right now. So you know, yeah, that. Let's see here. Yeah, you can see um, open with and it's gonna have GIMP image editor here. If you do that, it should open up with regular GIMP multi window, and it does. And you can see that the windows have gotten all screwed around. That's why I really don't like multi-window mode. Keeping track of these windows is just a pain in the butt. So let's see if we can make it open up in um, in GIMP box. I've already forgot the command. That was that was you, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, I'm lost already. Oh, there we go. see if that does anything for me there we go in get box all right let's do an, a right click and standard open with and see those this uh, okay yeah I did okay I actually save that um, I'd rather open up with the window viewer but for now that's good enough because you know for PNGs, I'm going to be open up with GIMP anyway. So, yeah, that's nice. And uh, let's see if we can tinker with the launcher just a little bit more. Um, all right, so, okay, they are both on there. Outstanding. Yeah, learning experience for both of us. I'd rather open up in the regular photo viewer.
was not that one. I've already forgot the original photo viewers. Um, photo viewers name, I'm probably looking right over it too. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. So it'll open up in regular photo viewer and I can uh, do a right click and open with GIMP box. Alright, so there we go. A little bit of tinkering. Not too bad. Hopefully it didn't add too much to the video. But there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess cut this video off. And I will put a link to this. Let me go ahead and get that. And I'll get this uploaded. And hopefully it'll help somebody out that's having issue or having a problem with GIMP having so many windows open. Anyway, y'all take it easy. Later.